And what's up, everybody? This is the first interview of 2022. And joining me at this time, a hip hop artist, a director, definitely repping for the Kentucky hip hop, repping for the culture. Very good friend of mine. We talked about this. We talked about doing this interview for years. And finally, it is happening. I am joined with Shooter McGavin right here, right now. What's good, man? What's going on, brother? How are you? How are you? Good, man. Oh, thank you so much, man. We've been trying to get this interview done for years, and uh, we finally mm -hmm. got it. And you being the first guest of 2022 makes it extra special. So uh, thank you for being on on the first show of the new year. Hey, thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate it, man. I'm looking to get 2020 rock, 2022 rocking real good. Yeah, absolutely, man. So I know you through a mutual friend. Um, for you, a friend, a collaborator, fellow hip hop artist, and hybrid the rapper. Um, y'all have done a lot of songs together throughout the years. And you last year y'all went on to release a collaboration record entitled Never Too Old. I like the album cover with which you both all dressed up. Now I'm used to hybrid. You know, just, you know, with the shirt, the jeans and whatnot. But to see him right. get the suit on, that's, that's a nice look, man. So, so shout out to Hybrid for that. Uh, so talk a little bit about the history between you and Hybrid. Um, how does y'all first met and what led y'all to start doing music with each other? All right. So basically when I retired from the service in 2013 and I came home, uh, I had dropped my first album while I was still active duty. And once I got medically retired for some of my injuries, you know, I, I knew at that point the music was going to be, you know, my number one push. And finally getting back into Kentucky and not really having too many connections or anything, I happened to run into, I think there was an event he was doing down at the Brick Alley or something like that. Uh, chopped it up with him, connected. We just vibed off just, you know, just a uh, human inter interaction and connection first off. And then we actually heard each other's music. And I mean, I've been rocking with him uh, since then. Yeah, and you know, y'all definitely have had some dope tracks together throughout the years. The first song that I heard from you both on the same song, um, I think it's called Cold World. Um, that was yeah. the first song that I heard. That is what I like to call an underground Kentucky hip hop classic. You know, you, Hybrid, Drix, Weaver, Buck Two Force. Um, just, I know I'm forgetting some names, um, but you right. know, it's just, it was a, a star studded cipher type of feel. Um, and y'all shot that in downtown Frankfurt, from my understanding, and a yeah. literally cold uh, <laughs> video shoot, literally. Yeah. I mean, so it, it makes sense, I suppose. Uh, so Never Too Old, the collaboration with you and Hybrid. You also released a mixtape prior to that stupid mixtape. Yeah. Um, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but just talk about after all the years mm -hmm. y'all known each other and doing shows and being on each other's albums and so forth. What what led y'all to eventually join forces on this Never Too Old record? Never Too Old has been in the making, but there had been no titles. There had been no song list. There had been nothing we had said we were going to do, but it turned into like, all right, bro, people are asking for it. They want to see us on an album together. So when we gonna make it happen. And uh, as I stated earlier, I have a lot of injuries from the service. So my health has uh, set me back a lot when it comes to, you know, personal endeavors and uh, in the music industry. So, you know, sometimes it'll be, uh, you know, everything will be good for a couple months or whatnot. And then next thing you know, oh, we gotta go to the hospital, have a surgery real quick or this, that, and other. So it's been, a, uh, it's been in the making and when we finally got the chance to really sit down and do it, it, it came together like, 
I can't even I can't even explain how quickly it was. I mean, we got nine tracks in one day. We knocked out five of them, and uh, one or two we had already done. We uh, revamped them, made them better, and then we just knocked out the album. And it was just like you know, it was just it was just perfect timing, and it just all worked out so with so much fluidity, man. It was just. It was nothing to do it but to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think a lot of people was very eager to to hear a collaboration from you both, and for y'all being able to do it and get get it out there. Um, it, it was is incredible. I enjoyed the album. I like the back and forth, the bars, the punch lines, and so forth. Y'all yeah, definitely had great chemistry on this project. And you know, just showing that, you know, hey man, different backgrounds, different walks of life. And, you know, hip hop has a way of bringing people together, regardless of where, who you are, where you came from. So um, oh, it's definitely one of the stand back, stand out uh, local projects, in my opinion, of 2021. So never too old, Shooter McGavin. And hype for the rapper is out on all the platforms. So go give it a stream, give it a purchase, go and uh, support that. Um, the stupid mixtape, you did that, you released it before um, Never Too Well with Hybrid. Uh, talk yeah. about working on that particular mixtape. Um, talk a little bit about that. All right, so uh, the stupid mixtape, uh, the acronym is Steadily Trying to Understand It While Profoundly in Denial. And what that means to me and uh, the what I was trying to portray is that, you know, sometimes uh, we're consistently working hard, 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 and things aren't going our way. And instead of actually getting down on yourself, or if you do get down on yourself. Sometimes you have to realize that, that you, you can't be in denial. You know what I'm saying? You have to either overcome it or it's gonna take you over. So sometimes, you know, even just like being in a relationship, you know, it's not going good, but you still wanna make it work. But realistically is don't be in denial. You gotta be smarter, you gotta keep going, gotta keep pushing forward. So I encompass that into the whole project and um, Stupid Mixtape was just really fun for me to make. It was another one of them albums that, um, well, it was initially going to be an album, but again, injuries took over for a while. So I didn't really have the time to uh, get the video shot like I wanted to. I didn't have the right uh, time to do all the promotion and things that I wanted to do, but I wanted to get this album out because so many people had been waiting on it for years. I initially even shot the pictures uh, for my album cover at least a year and a half, two years before the project, you know, before I even dropped a single. So again, that was another thing that actually encompassed into my acronym for the mixtape because it was like, all right, you got to focus. You steadily try to understand what's going on with your body and your health and things of that nature. But you can't be in denial. These are factors. These are things you have to deal with. So that's exactly how that uh, that project worked out, brother. I definitely like it because you definitely put a lot of emphasis on it. Uh, a lot of thought goes into it, um, a good feel for it, and just a reminder that, hey, you, you, you know, as you get older, you're gonna go through a lot. You're gonna go through some, you know, second guessing and stuff like that. Um, it's just a matter you know, having good people around you and knowing that things will eventually be okay, that you will pull through, you, you will succeed at whatever it is that you do. Um, so hearing that album, um, you rap on it, you got some instrumentals on there. And I must confess, I, I played a song before you called it, before you joined the Zoom mm. call. I played a song called The Truth. Yeah. And, and you, you got you got your R and B groove on on that track, man. I yeah. mean, you know, <laughs> you know, for sure. You, you know, you just singing to the ladies, man. I'm like, <laughs> man, watch out, man. I mean, 
Next, next thing you know, he's gonna have to suit on, gonna be like Bobby Brown, or something, you know. <laughs> hey, you know, honestly, brother, I initially started singing in church or rapping was the thing or anything. My grandmother, uh, God rest her soul, she was pretty much uh, a female version of Ray Charles in the state of Kentucky, and she traveled. Uh, throughout the South, singing in uh, churches and playing the organ. She lost her sight at 12 years old. And me and all my cousins, you know, as soon as we were able to sing, she had us in front of the, you know, in front of the uh, congregation, the church. So yeah, singing was my, always my initial thing. Shout out to Blue Word um, and Nat and everybody at uh, Boo Wan Productions, used to be Two Double M Studios, my people, my label. Uh, when he initially uh, ran into me, he was like, bro, do you sing? And I was like, yeah, man, I sing. And that's another way I connected uh, with him before, you know, this music thing was even that serious. So, yeah, I, I like to sing, man. I, uh, it bring it, it allows me to show another side of me that uh, when people associated with Shooter, because I used to go by Shooter McGavin, AKA Baritone Jones, but I just kept it to Shooter because, you know, regardless, I'm still just me. And, um, it was, I was always getting asked, man, sing on this hook for me, do this, that, and the other. But then I actually found my passion for rapping too. And I've always freaked out with the homies, especially, you know, back in the day playing ball and uh, just being around the homies and stuff like that. So it's ingrained in me, man. Music is a beautiful thing. And I guarantee it's one of the things that's uh, been my motivation outside of my family to keep going. Absolutely, man. So I'm joined with Shooter McGavin. Go check out Stupid, a Stupid Mixtape um, and Never Too Old with Hybrid the Rapper. Both projects are available on all the digital music platforms. So you got some things in store for this year and that starts tomorrow night, actually. You, Hybrid, Gone, Brandon Justice, gonna be at the Brick Alley uh, this Friday night. Uh, so, and I just seen you and the fellas uh, at Lawrenceburg. I, yeah, Lawrenceburg uh, yeah. for Hybrid's album or the double album release, a two for one release. So, however you want to categorize, usually it's just we're focused on one album. But he's like, no, nah, with Hybrid, you you know him longer than I am. He always constantly releasing music. So he released oh. Hybrid EP. He released Liberal Arts. And everybody got on stage, including yourself, did your thing. Um, so with you know, with this show coming up, you know, like how are you feeling? What's your mindset for 2022 uh, as far as shows, music, you know, things like that? What what can people expect from shooter in 2022? Well, to be honest, first thing they can expect is a whole lot of new energy. Um, it's always a, a process and a, a, a creative process that goes on with me. And, you know, there's a lot of times I don't drop too much, but that doesn't mean that I ain't got 200 songs sitting over here, another 200 beats I've made, you know, working on uh, movies. Um, just like we was talking about on Stupid Mixtape, one of my one of those uh, beats I have, I know you're a wrestling fan. Yeah. Uh, that WWE beat, I actually submitted and uh, won third place, but I didn't get the contract to get on with WWE. But like, so, I mean, I'm always working on something, but this year I'm definitely gonna be focusing on this new project called Just Marcus. And, you know, that's my first name and um, not really trying to go away from the Shooter McGavin thing or uh, who I am uh, or my persona, but it's more or less, I want to give another side. And this one is going to be a little more R&B felt and uh, a little more storytelling. It's going to have a spoken word on it. Things that I haven't written, other things in my bag that I haven't dipped into and gave to people. And also I just, um, last year I actually officially started my uh, party bus business, Funk Weathers Party Bus LLC. And Hopefully here soon, we're going to be on the road with that. And it's going to be also, you know, it's going to be for the community and the people, but also for artists who, you know, when we, they want to go to a show and there's enough locally, we can all link up, go together 
and you know we can all eat together and just you know make the circuit and uh you know make little trips and stuff like that um i have a couple more uh casting calls for a few movies coming up but right now it's gonna be about just marcus and funk with a sparty bus brother but uh, everybody's gonna see it about us okay yeah. funk with us part of us okay you know yeah. I'm, I'm, i've you know i've keep in touch with many artists and they've had ventures outside of music i've never heard anyone that's you know get they say okay I, we're gonna start the bus thing you know and you being the artist getting to travel on the road and stuff you know that's a good look you know and that could be a helping hand um for you obviously and for fellow local musicians that want to you know, get get on the road and travel and whatnot. So, um, and you know, it's it's got the it's got the Boosie Collins feel, funk with us. It's got the Boosie yeah. Collins feel to it. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, funk with us. If you need what bus fly, if you need you know music or whatever the case may be, you know, holler at Shooter. He got you covered. Um, that's coming. Um, a little bit later, but but that's coming. Just Marcus. Um, new music is on the way, spoken word. So what we heard from the truth of the stupid mixtape, we're gonna get you know some sort of um, that type of music from Shooter, uh, spoken word and so forth. So this is um, incredible. Um, I'm very thrilled to see you. You know you've definitely been through a lot. You've been through a lot of pain, obviously. And you you've always had a good attitude, man. Just staying afloat right, right. and just focusing on everything man so just having a chance to chat with you on this first show on this first interview of the year you set the tone hey. for, for interviews ahead uh this is pretty dope having you on and i'm glad that you know more importantly your health is number one priority obviously so i'm very happy that you that you 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 doing um a lot, feeling a lot better, uh and you know keeping things going and so forth. So for people that wants to learn that wants to get in touch with Shooter or you know bookings and so forth, um go ahead and promote your social media, and where can people ch uh, email you and stuff. All right. Well, if you want to reach me uh, by email, you should hit me up at smg. 2mm studios at gmail.com on Facebook. Just put in Shooter McGavin, search it, pop straight up. Same thing with Instagram, TikTok, same thing. Uh, my tags will come up, it'll be SMG slash Boo On. And um, I don't do Twitter, so if you're a Twitter person, my fault, I ain't got that, man. I do, <laughs> I do good to keep up with all this mess that I got now. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and like I said, just, and I hate to say it like this, but I know it sounds, you know, some people sound, say it sounds cocky, but honestly, it's, it's it, a lot of times it's just easier to Google me because what'll happen is all of my threads and all of my sites will come up at the same time. So if that's easier for you, shoot them a Gavin at the ER with the A baby, that's me. Ain't nothing cocky about that whatsoever. I mean, it's, it helps, um, you know, Indeed. especially with, for the, you know, social media, internet, technology that we do, the technology times that we in being evolving as such, you know, you definitely <laughs> gotta, um, you definitely gotta um, get get you know get your um self on the Google game, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, it's, you know, I, I, I'm curious to, to Google myself, you know, my <laughs> show name, to see right. what people saying about me, so. Uh, I'm gonna put one more thing, brother. Go ahead, man. I need y'all to go ahead. If you ain't seen it yet, get straight on your YouTube, put in We Gonna Turn Up featuring Shooter McGavin and Hybrid the Rapper. We already getting them numbers up. We need to keep them going. But that is a hot, hot, hot single. It's it's going crazy right now. So we gonna turn up. I need y'all to go ahead, play that. And we're going to be uh, rocking that one tomorrow on stage down at the Brick. Brick Alley, Frankfort, uh, Kentucky. Uh, yes, sir. The show starts at 8 or 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. So um, get there early. Hopefully the snow won't 
be too overwhelming for folks. Um, but mm-hmm. right now, it's pretty wise for everybody just to stay in the house. Um, of course, <laughs> not they- just because not just because of the snow, but we're still dealing with this whole pandemic thing, year three and yeah. whatnot. But you know, just be safe out there, everyone, fellow Kentuckians. And uh, once you get the snow, uh, snow fills out your system. If you if you're in the Frankfurt area, go go check out Shooter and Hybrid Brandon Justice and Gone. All and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if it's too bad, I ain't gonna be there either. I can't I I, I can't <laughs> skate. You know what I'm saying? I can't <laughs> skate. I can't I can't be dealing with all this, man. <laughs> oh man. So um, it's I think the cover price is five dollars. So you know, it's a good price, good talent, and you'll be supporting local music. Um, it doesn't get any yeah. better than that. Thank you, yeah. Shooter, for being on tonight. Thank you, Kenny. Um, Appreciate congrats it. Just, congrats to everything up to this point, and I look forward to everything else you have in store. And I made it get on that Funk With Us bus. Oh, man, all right, so brother. Ready, you got to see preserved at all times, man. I greatly <laughs> appreciate you, man. All right, man. So you take care and uh, we'll chat again soon. All right, now be blessed. Y'all have a great night. A shooter. Shooter, shooter, indeed. Uh, all right, man. That was Shooter McGavin. Shout out to him.